Sticking with the trend of guys who probably infuriate Brandon in one way or another in discussing Greg Monroe, who is a guy I adore because he's generally pretty good on a permanent basis, but of course... Still a bench guy. Uh, the good thing for Greg Monroe is that his minutes are trending up. He was really, really in the doghouse to start the year. Averaged 17.2 minutes per game in November, and he was a 21.6 for the whole of December. But from New Year's Eve on, we've kind of seen a different uh, Greg Monroe from a usage perspective. He's been on the floor consistently despite still coming off the bench. If we look at those uh, that New Year's Eve game, he played almost 34 minutes in that one, and in the past five games, which does include that New Year's Eve game, he's averaging 30.4 minutes per game. He's at 15.8 points, 9.4 rebounds, 3.2 assists, and 2.4 steals per game. In that same five-game span, Monroe has never been below 6.13x value. Uh, so taking his salary, dividing by a thousand, and then uh, finding his or find or multiplying there to see what his points are, and he's at at least 29.4 points in each of those five games. Now, obviously, the price has reacted pretty quickly to Monroe in his expanded role. His price for Tuesday's slate, which is uh, when we're recording, is now up to six thousand. So he's still coming off the bench. John Henson is a starter. He's playing like 14 minutes per game. Not sure why the Jason Kidd insists on having Monroe come off the bench. But are you willing to trust Monroe in tournaments, Brandon, given his newfound role, at least in terms of minutes per game? 